Hi everyone, Kate from Krakowlok is here and welcome to this new video from the series of Jet Engine REST API tutorials. So, in the previous video, we already learned how to create custom GET item endpoint for the CCT. And if you haven't watched this video yet, I highly recommend you to do so. And today, we're going to devote some time to another really cool option that Jet Engine REST API functionality has to offer. Register creates item REST API endpoint for the CCT. But guys, before we proceed any further, just as usually, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to receive notifications about new interesting tutorials. So guys, shall we get started? Let's imagine that we have a couple of different websites and maybe applications as well that allow users to subscribe to our news and updates. And we want to gather all these subscribers somewhere in one place, an organized and structured table, right? So Jet Engine CCT with REST API functionality will be a great solution in this case. Just as in the previous video, we need to start our REST API journey with enabling this option for a particular custom content type. Let's follow to Jet Engine, Custom Content Types. As you can see, I've already created a CCT named Subscribers. It's pretty simple. It's got three custom fields, name, surname, and email. And I also enabled admin columns for all of these fields just for the sorting purposes. So let's scroll back to the top to find register create item REST API endpoint and enable this option. So as you can see, the settings look exactly the same as for the register get item REST API endpoint. From the previous video, you guys already know what the Access Capability option stands for, so I'll not waste your time here and set it to Manage Options. Now we can copy the endpoint URL and update Content Type. Since I'm using the same websites as in the previous video, I can skip the step of attaining the authentication key. But I'm pretty sure that you did save it somewhere in the safe place as I recommended, right? Guys, to those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, or to those of you who have lost it for any reason, please feel free to put this video on pause and click on the link right here to see how to create the authentication key. Here we are at the second website where users will actually subscribe to our news and updates via the form on the front end. Let's follow to Jet Engine section and add a new endpoint for establishing the connection between two sites. Open REST API Endpoints tab and click on the New Endpoint button. The process of adding info is completely the same. Let's give it a name, Subscribers. Paste the API Endpoint URL that we just copied from our CCT. In the Items path, just enter the slash, enable authorization, select application password from the list and enter the name of the user and its authentication key separated by the column. OK. Let's send a sample request. And as you can see, we get a response body is empty warning message. This means that our CCT is literally empty and that is why it cannot fetch available fields data and establish the connection. What we can do is we can create a test item in the CCT. So let's go back to the main website and open Subscribers CCT. Click on Add New and enter Test Data. OK, let's add the item and go back to our second website. 
Let's click on Send Request one more time. Great! Now we are connected. Right now we can create a subscription form and customize its notification settings so that it would send all the data directly to our CCT. Let's follow to Jet Engine, Forms, click on Add New and add the title Subscription Form. OK, now we can start adding the fields to our form. They will be exactly the same as the meta fields in our subscribers CCT. So let's add three new fields, remove post ID field and move the submit button field to the bottom of the form. Good. So the first field will stand for the name of the user. Field value text, field type text as well, field name name, field label, first name, no description, field required, and everything else can stay just as it is. Let's apply changes. Good. Now, second field will go for the surname, field value text, field type text, field name, surname, field label, last name, Again, no description, field is required, and let's apply the changes. And the third field will go for the email of the user. Okay, so field value text, field type email, field name email, field label email, no description, field is required, and let's apply the changes. And also, guys, let's change the label of our submit button. I'll make it subscribe. OK. Now, let's scroll a bit down to customize post submit actions. Here, we have a default send email action. Click on this button on the right to edit its settings. In the action type, select REST API request. In the REST API URL, enter the same endpoint URL we have in the custom content type. And don't forget to put a slash at the end. Good. Now we can start creating a custom body for the API request. We can do it with the help of online editing tool. So simply click on this link. Great. Basically, what we need to do now is to map form fields two corresponding CCT meta fields. And since we want our form to be dynamic, we can surely use macros that are automatically created when we add new fields to the form. So, meta field name has to be mapped to the form field name. Meta field surname has to be mapped to the form field surname. Meta field email has to be mapped to the form field email. Great! And guys, please be very attentive in this part because even a tiny little mistake like using the wrong quotation mark symbols, you know there are those tiny curly typographic ones? Or leaving a comma after the last field with values, yeah. They will cause troubles and error messages during the form submission process. That is why here you need to be super careful. Now simply copy this text and paste it into the custom body field. And last but not the least, toggle the authorization option on, select application password from the list, and paste the same user password string or, in other words, authentication key. Now we can apply the changes and publish the form. Since our form is pretty simple and short, I decided to add it to the pop-up. Let's follow to Jet pop-up, click on Create new pop-up, Select the Layout preset and click 
create pop-up. Here we have some default widgets that can be removed. I'll just leave the heading and write stay up to date in the settings. Let's align it to the center, change typography and color settings. Good. And now let's search for the form widget and drop it onto the canvas. Simply start typing the name of the form to select it. And don't forget to change the submit type to Ajax. Good. Now let's open the pop-up settings and select open event. I'll choose page scrolled and I'll leave it at 10%. Good. Open style settings and change the close button icon color to orange. Good. Now let's go back to the settings tab and click on manager of display conditions to define where the pop-up will be displayed. I'll add one simple condition to display it on entire site. Save conditions and publish the pop-up. Here we are at the homepage of our second website. Let's try to subscribe and see whether it will add any data to our main CCT website. So let's scroll a bit down for the pop-up to appear. Great. Now let's enter the personal details and submit the form. Okay, so the form has been successfully submitted and right now let's go back to the main website with subscribers CCT. So let's open subscribers. And there we go, we have our first subscriber, the information of whom has been successfully added to our website. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful and informative for you and your projects, and it kind of helped you to figure out what REST API functionality has to offer for you. So guys, if you still have any questions, please leave them in the comments below this video or contact our support team so they could assist you. And also please share your wonderful ideas with us on our GitHub page and join our friendly Facebook community. Cheers guys.